come across a fashion brand called Mario Valentino? Is Mario Valentino Valentino? Or is it a copycat of Valentino Galvani? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you another of my favorite handbags, this clutch bag from Valentino. I've had this bag for two years. It's called Rockstar Spike Napa Leather Crossbody Clutch Bag. <laughs> Such a long name to let us know that it's from the Rockstar Spike Bag collection made with uh, Napa Leather can be carried crossbody and it's a clutch bag. This particular bag is still available from the fashion house. The color is called Rozzo Valentino, which I believe is their signature color. I could be wrong. Today's video again is time stamped. If you are not interested in the history of the fashion house and the creation of the Rockstar line, just click on the timeline in the description section to save time. The brand Valentino was established in 1960 when Valentino Galavani opened his maiden fashion house in Rome. He sold the business in 1998 but remained the creative director for the fashion house for the next 10 years. He hired Maria Graccia Curie and Pierpaolo Piccioli in 1998 and started grooming them to become his successors. Sorry about my Italian, I did try. <laughs> they eventually took over the reign of the fashion house and became the due creative director in 2008 when Valentino Galavani officially retired from the fashion house. Just a bit of fun factor. Valentino Ganavani made a guest appearance in one of my favorite movies of all time, Devil Wears Parada. Here's a picture of him with a mirror strip at the party towards the end of the movie. Maybe that's the reason he retired from the fashion house in 2008, so he could try to become a movie star. The rock star line was the brainchild of the two creative directors. It was first a debut in 2011 with the shoe collection. Now, who haven't seen the Rockstar shoes? It has become the most successful line of creations for Valentino to date. And the Rockstar has become the signature of Valentino. For this reason, Maria Graccia Curie and Pierpaolo Piccioli were credited with one of the biggest success stories in recent fashion history. When Maria moved to Dior in 2016, Pierpaolo was made the sole creative director for the fashion house. This is the year when the Rockstar Spike Bag line was launched. This collection of the bags are made with a high quality leather and exquisite craftsmanship. And of course, their signature Rockstar. The price for these bags are much more affordable compared to LV or Chanel, which make them very good value for money. Of course, relatively speaking. Okay, enough history talk. Now let's look at the bag. This bag belongs to the Rockstar Spike Bag Collection, but it's a clutch bag. I picked this bag because the regular Spike Bag just looked too busy to me. And I was particularly not keen on the top handle of the bag. Also, I was really looking for a bag for the more formal occasions. The bag is in this classic rectangular shape uh, with the quilted rhombus pattern. It's in the lambskin with the rock start all over the bag. See back and front. It's a flat bag, so you just twist open it and you got the rock started all over it here as well. And the interior is fully leather lined. There's a side pocket 
and eight card slots and a zipper compartment on the other side. The zipper is super smooth. And you've got the care card and the spare rock start, just in case one of them falls off. As you can see, there's a bit of an indentation on the interior of the flap, which caused the buy the rock start. Although I had the felt, I always a store with the felt in between. Uh, to protect the the leather but this is unavoidable but it doesn't seem to damage the leather the metal strap is detachable see there's a two little button here you can just undo them and pull it out so you can wear it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag or you can use it as a clutch so it's quite versatile i normally use it as a clutch so I don't normally take the cards out because you do have eight card slots that you can use. Um, but yeah, yeah, I can put my wallet in here with no problem and my key pouch and my phone and that's all I carry. The shoulder strap, I guess if you wear it as a shoulder bag um, after a while, it might start rubbing on the side of the leather on each side but I mainly just use it as a clutch so it hasn't been a problem but I yeah I did occasionally carry it um, on the shoulder so but see they still look perfect yeah I think the the craftsmanship of this bag it's quite impressive the rock starts are all perfectly lined and the glazing around the bags it just you know all done perfectly although it's made with the lambskin i haven't had any problem with it because it's made with the nepa leather i'm a big fan of the nepa leather because it's a full green leather which is much more durable than the regular lambskin and it is very pliable and super soft and uh, luxurious to touch just like the lambskin. It is often used on the car seats in the luxury car where people constantly sit on. I talked about the Nepa leather in my previous video for the unboxing of my Fendi baguette. Here's a link to that video if you are interested. Also the rock stars on the bag seem to protect the leather from directly rubbing against the body and from getting scratches so they're not just looking pretty i've had this bag for two years and it has held up really well of course it's not a everyday bag but when i do carry it i don't have to baby it because it's in the nepa leather before we finish this video i'd like to share another interesting fact with you just in case you are not um, aware of it already have you ever come across a fashion brand called Mario Valentino? Is Mario Valentino Valentino? Or is it a copycat of Valentino Galavani? The answer is Mario Valentino is another Italian fashion house which was established in 1952, eight years earlier than Valentino Galavani. Here's how I discovered there are actually two Valentinos. When I got home after purchasing this bag, I opened the bag but couldn't find the authenticity card. So I called the store and I was told that their bags don't usually come with the authenticity card, which is weird. I searched online and it was clearly stated that they do. So I sent the web page to the sales associate and that's when I discovered there's actually another Valentino. I therefore did a bit of a research on the two fashion houses. Apparently, consumer confusion between Mario Valentino and Valentino Gallimani uh, was traced back 40 years ago. As a result, the two fashion houses had to enter into a coexistence agreement in 
1979. It specified exactly what names and logos Mario Valentino could use for the sale of its uh, leather accessories. I guess it's probably because Mario Valentino is not a high-end fashion house like the Valentino Galvani. Let's have a look at the logos uh, for Mario Valentino. This one is the V with a circle. And this one is the word Valentino plastered across the bag. The logos are for Valentino Galavani is either this one or the Rockstars. The Rockstar line have been around for a decade now, even though many had thought it wouldn't have lasted for more than a few seasons when it first came out. So why is the Rockstar loved by so many women around the world? In my opinion, the striking hardware on the Rockstar accessories makes a bold statement, but the conventional shape of their shoes and handbags make them look classy. And the two together just create the perfect balance between edginess and elegance, which is exactly what modern day women are looking for to express themselves. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen any of the Rockstar shoes or bags that are in a outrageous shape. Have you? Please let me know your opinion in the comment section. I'm interested in what your thoughts are. There you go. That's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.